Yeah, we're doing a little road trip from Waco down to the beach. And this year we wanted to see what it would be like just to take a straight shot to the closest beach, which happens to be Corpus Christi. So we're taking the back roads on Highway 77. Uh, very pleasant driving. Let's take a look at it. Kurt Thompson's road trip and vacation fun from Waco to the beach to the Gulf of Mexico. And according to my map, it's an unbelievable only five hours. How many of you live five hours to the ocean? That's, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Beautiful, fluffy, pillowy, cottony clouds. Isn't that nice? Yeah, we just started this trip about a half an hour ago, so we're just uh, pretty much out of Waco and we're on our way towards, we're gonna go through Cameron. There you go. Anyway, I'll check, keep checking back in until we see the water. Yeah, back again, and we're about 30 miles from Giddings. What I've noticed is that there's been a marked increase in trees, and the train has gotten a little bit more hilly. Not mountainous, really, but um, hilly. And uh, we're being surrounded by lots and lots of trees on each side of the highway here, which was different than the uh, when we first left Waco. Lots and lots of trees, it's actually kind of nice. It's a different change of pace from, from Waco. So, all right, we're about a half an hour outside of Giddings, Texas. Going through a nice big uh, tree enclave here. All right, we'll catch up with you in a bit. through the Grange and oh the train is really changing here it's becoming even more hilly and mountainous probably about halfway to our de destination give or take um, we have our attack dogs here they wanted to say something for you guys so it appears we're going up a little bit of a tiny mountain much different than Waco. We don't got this in Waco. Oh, beautiful. Curve. Yeah, curves and hills. Uh, we are going up a serious hill here. Like I mentioned before, just all of a sudden, just trees everywhere for miles and miles and miles of trees. Brewery State Park. Huh. This is all new territory for me because I've never actually been on Highway 77 this way. We also got a Smoky here. Where's the Smoky? I don't think I'm speeding. What's the speed limit here? No, I'm not speeding. Smoky. Got a Smoky around here somewhere. Okay, we'll pick it up a little bit later, guys. Just got off of Highway 77 and turned on to 188. So it looks like it's 188 to 189 and then we're right there at the water. So 77 takes you almost all the way to the beach but not exactly to the beach. You have to get off on a smaller highway. So we have 188 for a little bit and then 189 should take us right to the water. And uh, anyway, we're dangerously close to the beach right now. Probably half an hour away or less. We are getting very 
exposed to lots of water. Starting to see palm trees everywhere. And this is exciting for someone who lives in Waco. That they can get in their car and five hours later they're at the freaking beach. Are you serious? Wow. And this place just had a hurricane that hit them two days ago. Okay, we're really getting close, as you can tell. Really, really close. Palm trees everywhere, water obviously everywhere. This is exciting. because I've lived in Waco all this time and never really thought that a quick five-hour drive I could be at the beach at the ocean let's go over this little hill here and then I'll sign off until we get closer closer and closer to the actual Gulf of Mexico okay then it was kind of like a little tease, wasn't it? It was some bay, some inlet bay, but we're getting close. I believe we are very, very close. This is the bay around Corpus Christi before we get to the actual ocean. And we're just about there. A few more miles. Berries here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Cool environment. like we got to take a ferry over this is interesting see a big um, a big ship coming in can you see that the big ship kind of coming in I guess maybe we're gonna get on it I don't know Oop, sorry moving in we have to take a ferry we are actually on a ferry folks check this out We're on a car ferry. I mean, I had no idea what I was getting in for or getting into. What's going on, party peeps? It's we are on the ocean. We are on a wow. ferry. On a ferry on the ocean. Yes, yes we are. Look, would I'm you not actually at driving. Look, look at my shoes. See, not driving, but we are moving. <laughs> behind us too. See in the back. Uh, there we go. Woo. Don't go too far gong, gong, in the gong, corner. Gong, we want to fall off here. Wow. I had no idea folks. I didn't really um, I did this on a whim. I had no idea we'd be getting on a ferry here. La, la, la. Look at the beautiful, beautiful ocean here. Okay, hi, I'm filming this for you. This is what wow. it feels like to be on a ferry. Right, remember that one scene in Spider-Man Homecoming where he has to... Yeah, I, I think you know what I mean. Look at Maynard at taking that. in there pretty good, aren't you, Maynard? We should cut a common line. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Where's the other puppies? There's some other puppies. Where's Celine? Right. Oh, Celine's probably looking out the window. Hold on, hold on, Celine. Okay, so about five hours and 15 minutes later, I arrived at the beach gate here. 
not a bad drive at all. Excuse me. Let's just see what it looks like over here. Go up over here. Let's see if the five hours, well we got sand. Let's see if the five hour and 15 minute drive from Waco was worth it. I'll tell you right off the bat, it's about 15 degrees cooler right here than it is in Waco. Which, um, when it's 98 degrees or 100, whatever it is now in Waco. And I'm navigating through some serious sand here on my shoes. Gotta get my flip flops. But this is Tuesday, July 27th. So we can see what the temperatures were. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. There it is, folks. Five hours and 15 minutes from Waco. The Gulf of New Mexico, or the Gulf of Mexico. Not Gulf of New Mexico, well it could be. That's it. You start at noon, you get here about 5.15. And you just can't believe it. I'll do a little panoramic here. Who else watching this can drive five hours and be at the beach like this? I mean, I feel lucky. I used to live in San Francisco, so of course I was close to that beach. I used to live in Seattle, so I was close to the Puget Sound. I used to live in Santa Monica, that was the best. But all that was expensive. Living in Waco, driving five hours and you're at the beach, no way. No freaking way. Anyway, this is Kurt Thompson and that was my road trip. My kind of on a whim road trip from Waco to the beach. Corpus Christi, this is really not exactly Corpus Christi, but it's a, kind of like um, Padre Island. A little bit, um, not exactly Corpus Christi, but it's, it's like 10-15 uh, minutes away. And this is the quickest place to the beach, five hours and 15 minutes. I encourage anybody in the Waco area, if they haven't done this, I mean, this is a no-brainer. Feels wonderful here. Cooler, fresh, salt, ocean air. Okay, that's enough rambling. This is my road trip, our road trip. Hope you enjoyed it. Beautiful. They say don't turn your back in the ocean, but uh, I'm kind of in far enough where I don't think I'm going to be run over too bad. It's about 8.30 on my first arrival. I guess I'll, I might include this as part of my uh, road trip. I'm just still shaking my head. Got a beautiful moon up there. Five hours from Waco and you can get to this. The water is so warm, the sand feels good. In fact, I did a lip buzzing video five years ago in Galveston. I might have to conjure up another one maybe tomorrow. It's been five years, right? Got a little, little bit of a sunset happening that way. Wow. get in your car I'm a late night person so I you know I got in my car at 12 noon and by 5 o'clock here or if you're an early bird you know leave at 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning you get here by lunch beautiful beautiful oh the water is getting my pants now look at that <laughs> I did turn my back on the ocean to look at what happened it was only going to my ankles then all of a sudden got up to my knees 
the sand is very soft here. It re really reminds me of Panama City Beach, where I went a few years ago. The sand is very soft. The water is warm. Very sultry. There's a cool breeze. I say it's about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than Waco, but I'll have to double check the weather. Oh, I hear Maynard. <laughs> 